Democrats uh, would be dancing in the streets. If Hillary Clinton had won, she would have immediately fired James Comey. Well, that, of course, was Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders on Morning Joe. In documents released by the White House, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein cites Comey's handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation as grounds for his dismissal. At one point, writing, quote, I cannot defend the director's handling of the conclusion of the investigation of Secretary Clinton's emails. Well, here's somebody who's definitely going to have a choice reaction, former Clinton presidential campaign manager, Robbie Mook. Robbie, first, I want to get your reaction to Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Would Hillary Clinton have fired James Comey? You know, Hillary Clinton uh, wasn't elected president of the United States. Donald Trump was. And I think this is a, a classic example of how the Trump administration is trying to get us to debate, you know, what would Hillary have done? Uh, let's go back to 2016 and relitigate the campaign and not keep the focus on okay, the well, choice that Donald Trump made here. We're going to do that. But I'm not part of the Trump campaign. This is me asking you, would Hillary Clinton have fired James Comey? I, I, I honestly have no clue. We, you know, we were running a campaign. We were focused on uh, winning votes, and this discussion never came up, and uh, never we never, frankly, had the opportunity because she wasn't elected to even make these sorts of considerations. Um, and you know what? Frankly, it doesn't matter. Um, what what's what's concerning here today is that the same day that subpoenas were coming out uh, in the FBI probe into Russia. All of a sudden, Donald Trump decides to fire James Comey, and and not just that, he decides to make the excuse, or his Justice Department makes the excuse, that all of a sudden he cares very much about Hillary Clinton and how she was treated by the FBI. It's the most ridiculous excuse I think they possibly could have come up with, and I'm surprised they thought that anyone would fall for this. All it's right. just so transparently false. Well, last night you tweeted, quote, Twilight Zone. I was as disappointed and frustrated as anyone at how the Clinton email investigation was handled, but this terrifies me. But more, more specifically, what were your thoughts when you saw that President Trump, I understand that you're saying this is ridiculous, it's unheard of. Besides being shocked, what specifically were your thoughts when you heard this? Well, I'm concerned about the balance of power in this country and a president who seems to think that he's above the law. Uh, I can't imagine any other president getting away with this, and I certainly hope that Donald Trump uh, doesn't either. I was the first one, as we just discussed, I was the first one to criticize James Comey. I was, I, I, I thought the way he handled that investigation was not good, and there was an investigation in place into his conduct, and I was looking forward to seeing the results of that. But the fact of the matter is here, when the, president himself, when the president's own campaign, his own associates are under investigation, he can't just let go of not just the leader of the FBI, he's let go of two other officials within the Justice Department who are also investigating this. And that's why the, uh, the Congress has to step up here to protect the balance of power in this country and appoint a special prosecutor. We can't rely on the Trump administration to appoint someone I have absolutely no confidence that that person uh, will be even handed or fair in this process. Uh, and, and the Congress needs to step up and do their duty under the Constitution. Uh, uh, they are one of the three branches of power here, and they are slowly letting the president just run roughshod over our legal system. Well, he's not shutting down the Russia investigation. Is there not an opportunity for you to take this as a positive, given how aggressively you have come out against James Comey and how he handled Hillary Clinton's emails? Isn't there a chance here, if there is a special prosecutor, we don't know who's going to be named next as the head of the FBI. This could move things forward. There is a lot of focus today on this Russia investigation, and there's, in fact, more pressure on uh, Republicans in Congress to not let this just slide under the rug. Couldn't this be a positive? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked this question because I think what the administration was trying to do here was make a clever political move and do something that they thought the Democrats would support. The fact of the matter is we like our country and we want to protect our Constitution more than we want to, you know, have sort of petty fights uh, with the FBI. Again, no one disapproved of Comey's handling uh, of the investigation more than me. But the way this was done, the timing of this, the fact that he fired him the day 
that it was announced that these uh, that these subpoenas were going out in the Russia probe. We know that the president has an erratic temperament. We it's been reported that he was losing his temper over this Russia investigation. We cannot let ourselves get lulled in to accepting this kind of erratic and completely inappropriate behavior that puts the president above the law. Again, he has fired three people who were actively investigating him. And at every juncture, he hasn't just fired them. He's done nothing to reassure us that he wants this investigation uh, to continue. And so I think everybody, Democrats and Republicans, have to speak out. If we let this become partisan and if we get down into relitigating uh, the, the election last year, we're, we're playing right into the game and, and we're putting our constitutional democracy at risk. Robbie, you're right. The president did fire three people, but guess what? We're not going anywhere and we're still asking questions. All right, Robbie. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.